Slam and Ham, you are track to bang very early. Please, number 148, your old man. Please, your painless spelling in the right quarter. Pass making test your palate on his own test trees. And subsequent article, your paxi from right test to the numb, well defined homogeneous hypoplex and mass was found within the right testicle. What are you diagnosed? Testicular seminoma. Uh, the hint is that there is a penis in the right frontum and pass my touch your better undesigned intestine. Testament 2. So undesigned intestine related with testicular seminoma. Testament 2. Most common cause of adult scrotal mass is seminoma. Most common cause of adult scrotal mass is seminoma. Third 3. Male with fullness in the scrotum. Left edge is appeared bulky, most likely diagnosed seminoma. Then adult scrotal mass is most common is seminoma. Seminoma is most common in undesigned testes, most common pure germ cell tumor, every 8 4 years. Associated with testicular microtheosis. <coughs> Question 4 An abdominal mass is present in the neonate. What is the likely source of origin? A renal. <coughs> Question number 5. Most common cause of pulmonary metastasis in a child is nephroblastoma. Most common cause of pulmonary metastasis in a child is nephroblastoma. Question number six. <coughs> now see here the, the, the diagram showing bilateral brain tumor, bilateral nephroblastoma, stage five. <coughs> bilateral nephroblastoma. Question number six. Six four, four year old child, a large tumor and a growing mass rising from right kidney. Standing across the midline, is playing the art and improving the camera. There can appear in the lead and most likely diagnosed nephroblastoma. The four year old child with large atrial tumor. The second pulmonary tumor and neuroblastoma. The large atrial tumor is ignored by the right kidney. And the uh, channel across the middle line. The across the middle line and displacing. Now it displays at art and fear when I can also have a blastoma. Uh, it may show some kind of pain. The important thing is it does not increase. So if it displays the uh, art and the inferior neck, then neuroblastoma. Okay, and now let's go. Question number seven: Recurrent neuroblastoma extra arterial is unusual. The neuroblastoma extra arterial is unusual. Then again, neuroblastoma Wilm tumor because uh, displays the uh, great muscle neuroblastoma in case of the artery. This tuber closes and the cystic lymphoma. So this tuber closes and your mild lymphoma bilateral. Resistant nephroma, spoke wheel appearance. Problem 8. A child less than 3 years presented with bone metastasis and mass left in left lumbar region in midline. Bilateral kidneys are normal, like that was neuroblastoma. Bilateral kidneys are normal, so something with adrenaline and neuroblastoma. So left with less than 3 years old child presented with bone metastasis and mass in left lumbar region. Bilateral kidneys are normal, like that was neuroblastoma. Problem 9. Large heterogeneous supranual mass with stippled can again explain the kidney. Apparently, mass all the cause in the midline. In case in the art and pure nakia, mostly like neuroblastoma. In case in the art and pure nakia, neuroblastoma. Question number ten: Endocavity lesion inside uterus plus immediate mortality is MRI. Endocavity lesion uterus plus immediate mortality is MRI. Question number eleven: CTIV is used for renal outline. CTIV is used for renal outline. Number twelve: Beyond female parent, dipstick positive for urine. CT pyrogram positive for urine. Pyrogram. Dipstick positive for urine. CT pyrogram. In the case of the routine, pelvic lymphomatosis, widening of pre-cycle space. In pelvic lymphomatosis, there is widening of pre-cycle space. Question 14. <laughs> Most common finding in child with left side high urethra and high nephrosis is pelvic uretic junction obstruction. Most common finding in child with left side high urethra and high nephrosis diagnosis is answer is pelvic uretic junction obstruction. PUJ. In school, in child with unilateral high nephrosis is vessel reflux. reflux. Cause with unilateral high nephrosis in child is pelvic uretic junction Left is greater than right. Question 15 Chronic back pain, lower extremity swelling, and mild renal impairment. Amount of paralysis in upper ureter with medial deviation of the middle third of both ureter associated with current tapering, but it must be diagnosed with peritoneal fibrosis. Now, the bilateral ureters or medial division of the middle third of both ureters and the tapering of both ureters. Most likely diagnosed retroperitoneal fibrosis. In 16, retroperitoneal fibrosis is present as a medial displacement of upper ureter and spot tapering. 
In his period, operated on cheap rate, smooth tapping is better for one part of it. is associated with renal cyst. VHL is associated with renal cyst. Question number 18. Trumetry hump intrapapillary line parallel to the cortex. Trumetry hump is intrapapillary line parallel to the cortex. Question number 16. Most common period anomaly of kidney is horseshoe kidney. Most common period anomaly of kidney is horseshoe kidney. Most common is horseshoe kidney. The first few is octopia. The duplex kidney. Next <coughs> duplex kidney. <coughs> they do plus kidney, upper moiety, lower moiety. Question number 21 Heart true kidney answer risk of transverse cell carcinoma is high. 21 Heart true kidney risk of transverse cell carcinoma is high. Question number 22 Atonic bladder answer is neurogenic bladder. This is neurogenic bladder. Atonic bladder is neurogenic bladder. Atonic bladder is neurogenic bladder. Question number 23 On a 20 Weeks anomaly scan, fetal kidney shows multiple variable sizes, randomly distributed on kidney, diagnosis, and then this is large kidney. On 20 weeks anomaly scan, right, the fetal kidney shows multiple variable sizes, randomly distributed on kidney, diagnosis, but this is large kidney. On 20 weeks anomaly scan, right, fetal kidney shows multiple variable sizes, randomly distributed on kidney, diagnosis, but this is large kidney. Question number 24. Infant kidney on ultrasound shows multiple cells not communicating with each other. The answer multisys is plasma kidney, multisys is systemic kidney. In, on infant kidney ultrasound, there are multiple cells not communicating with each other. The answer multisys is plasma kidney. So 25. Most common site of paraganglioma. Pure common site of after adrenal medulla is sympathetic chain. Most common site of paraganglioma after adrenal medulla is sympathetic chain. Most common uh, site of paraganglioma of the environmental similarity chain. 26. 30 year old male pain and hematuria are the sound shows hydronephrosis and aerator at pain investigation, CDKB. 30 year old man with pain and hematuria are the sound shows hydronephrosis and aerator at pain investigation, CDKB. 27. Most common spinal mass found in periodic age group is teratoma. Most common spinal mass found in periodic age group is called teratoma. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. Most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common cause of urinary aneurysm is paramus dysplasia. The most common
uh, post obstruction dip atrophy retination trying to be twenty as an outer unit it won't enhance post contrast mass appeared heterogeneous with rounded areas of high signal T1W1 low signal T3 image most are diagnosed than the granular parallel pattern now this is all called pulse pulse sign can go inside the real pelvis and the patient has right sternal colic and a CT neurogram this demonstrates that with the right sternal pelvis and the real cord right sternal almost entirely uh, replaced with it is defined mass that no is the granular pelvis practice so 40 sharp angle